you know what's really annoying? When a product that comes out that's supposed to solve one problem also creates another problem, and that is what happened with the Lanzi camera cooling fan when it was released last year, because it solved the problem of overheating on the A6700 and the Sony ZV-E1, but then it caused the problem by not actually sticking to the camera in the way that it was designed to. The original version used suction cups and it um, had like a plastic film that you stuck behind your camera monitor and it just didn't work. For me, I sometimes I would find that it would fall off after a couple of minutes and I didn't even get one of these on the first run where it was half price. I actually paid full price, almost £40 in the UK. For a little tiny battery operated fan is expensive, but if it means I can record for longer on my ZV-E1, it doesn't really matter, okay? But it didn't stick to the camera. So I looked at some other alternatives as well. I tried the Tilter camera cooling system, which is just built phenomenally well, and it keeps your camera like icy cold, that heatsink on there. But it doesn't have a battery in it, and it is very loud depending on what USB charges that you're gonna be plugging into it. So if you're plugging something that outputs higher power USB, even on the lowest settings, it was just too loud. Where I've got my camera arm's distance away from me now, even something like an SM7B was gonna pick up that fan noise. So I couldn't recommend that one either. Then there was the AliExpress ones, which looked okay, but you know, I just didn't wanna wait for it. I didn't wanna wait for it to come out that long. But Yulanzi have gone and fixed their camera cooling fan. This is the version two of the CA25. I ordered it about a week ago from their online store. It took a week to come to the UK and I can confirm that this one sticks to your camera. It grips to your camera. So pretty much same box as before. You get a little certified, qualified, certified. Well, they obviously didn't certify the last one enough. I think they were just rushing to get it out. There's a user manual, but I'm pretty sure you can work that out. It's just clipping a fan to a camera. There is then a USB-C cable, USB-C to type A, quite a long cable. I'd prefer if you included like a little short cable with this um, because then you can plug it into like V-mount batteries that are quite close to your camera. I actually have the Sony MPF batteries on the back of my monitor, which output USB-C and USB type A. So I actually use like smaller little cables like this. So yeah, it would have been nice for a shorter cable. I am literally just nitpicking at the moment. So here is the CA25 Mark II then. As you can see from the aesthetics, it's exactly the same. It's available in black and silver. The only difference is the way the mounting system works on the bottom, which I will show you in a second okay so you hold the power button down that will turn the camera on so that is two fan speeds that's fan speed number one and that now is fan speed number two okay usb-c to charge now when you do plug in usb-c it does increase the fan a little bit you can hear that there the fan just increased when you have it plugged in to charge. So I generally find that if your mics are gonna be quite close to your camera when you're recording, do unplug it. But then if you're then waiting in between different recordings, then you could just plug it back in in between. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off for now. So what's changed on this then? Well, there's no suction cups on the bottom now. And what we've got is like this spring mechanism. And then there is a little, I don't know if you can see that there, piece of metal here, which clips on to your camera. You can see there's that little, little nub in there. So this is going to be compatible with a wide range of cameras. Okay. So you put it in this way. I think you put it in spring side first, push it, and then it clicks in. So as you can see there, you'd have to be doing, you know, a massive amount of shaking to make this fall off. It's not going anywhere. Perfect, yeah, perfect. So should you buy the CA25 Mark II and is this going to turn your Sony ZV-E1 into an FX3? Because it's got a fan now, which means it can record for a long amount of time. First things first, I think that Ulanzi should be offering free exchanges on the old camera cooling fan for this one. The original one did not work correctly and that is why they bought a version two out so quickly. I think that's just going to show you as being a good reputable brand. I love a lot of Ulanzi's products. Um, they make so many good things. They do make a little bit of tat, a little bit like newer as well. You know, not everything that they sell is a home run, but they do make quality products at affordable price, but you got it wrong with the version one. And I think you should offer an exchange program for this fan. 
So does this turn your ZV-E1 into an FX3? Not quite. It doesn't quite get there, okay? Manage your expectations with this. Now, I'm not going to give you exact timings because I was finding it quite hard to get something that was always the same. Um, I would record at the same resolution and I would get different overheating times both with and without the fan. Um, all of my testing that I did do, though, was just with the screen flipped okay so all of the doors all of that sort of stuff was all completely closed all the battery flaps all of that stuff that can make the camera cool a little bit better and i think where this has a massive advantage for is for when you're shooting up to 30 frames per second if you were considering buying the zve one like i did as a main camera i'm using this for shooting interviews with quite regularly i'm doing other social media bits outside of work i'm recording podcasts with it this fan allows me to run my ZV-E1 for as long as I need it to record at 4K 25 to 30 frames per second. That's where this really excels. Also, if you were going to be using this as a USB webcam as well, the overheating times were really weird for me. So sometimes at 4K, it would last for almost an hour. Other times it would overheat over after 15 minutes. Again, it's hard for me to get scores at the moment because it's February. I live in the UK. It's not particularly hot and I haven't really got masses amount of heating on in the house. But this little fan really does help with extending the times at those lower frame rates. OK, when I use this in webcam mode, whether it's 1080p 60 or 4K 25 frames per second because I'm in the UK, this thing goes all day long with it okay i've got this really cool i'll link in description i've got this usb c power cable as well which is like a dual splitter so i can keep this camera charged when i'm using it with a capture card as well and also then add some additional power into this and i just find that it works perfectly fine so yeah the 4k what i'd be interested to see is how well this does when it starts becoming a bit warmer and when it becomes like the summer so in the summer i remember shooting some unboxings with this and it was overheating after about 15 minutes. So what I have actually had, let me just get it for you. So I've actually got my camera mounted to my monitor on like a Z mount. And this is what I use. I've just got this cheap fan off of Amazon, which plugs into the USB port on my monitor. And I just have that sat behind my Sony ZV-E1. And that was a really cheap alternative because I've got room on the back of it on the mounting plate that it sits on. And that just sits there and that does a really good job and i really like that actually but for when you're out and about this thing is absolutely perfect just clip on bang and you're ready to go so for that it's fine so what about 4k 60 4k 120 well it's really weird because it is february at the moment i was expecting to see some improvements when i was recording at 4k 60 and i actually got an hour without the fan yesterday because it's just not that hot in here it's not hot enough to make the camera overheat so i just gave up after that point because why are you going to want to shoot an hour of 4k 60 i think that's some of the things that people make big complaints about with this camera now 4k 120 i would get about nine minutes without the fan when i plug this in i get about 12 or 13 so it doesn't massively improve it but again you're literally going to be shooting snippets of B-roll at 4K 120 or 4K 60. You don't need it to record for an hour. So what this fan does perfectly is make this fan manageable for when you want to do that longer content talking headpiece shots. And for that, it's definitely worth the £40. Um, and I'm really glad that they fixed it. Yolanzi, though, do right by your customers and offer a free exchange, okay? Offer an exchange. There's a link in the description if they're not offering the exchange. Please do use my affiliate links. Um, I don't make massive amounts of money with the channel. Um, and anything that you buy through my links really does help me out. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. Um, and I'll be back with some more content very soon.